Hi, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a deep dive into Ula Henriksen skincare. If you're curious about the products um, that he offers and how they work, then go ahead and grab a drink or a snack and settle in. This video is going to get a little bit long since there are a ton of products to talk about, so we're just going to jump right into it. For this brand review, we're going to go in the order that you would use the products in a skincare routine. So we're going to start with products like face wash and toners, and we're going to end with treatments like face masks. So we're going to start with the cleanser. We have the Truth Juice Daily Cleanser, which retails for $30 for five ounces. I actually used this entire face wash. I really enjoyed it. I used it in evenings um, before I did the rest of my skincare. It made my face clean, but I didn't feel stripped. It does have a citrus smell, um, as most products from um, this line have, um, and that does come from extracts and oils, um, but not essential oils. Just want to clarify that. Um, again, I would say that this face wash, because it is very cleansing, would probably be suited to normal oily skin, maybe somewhat dry skin, However, if you have like um, extremely sensitive skin, eczema or super dry skin, you may want to skip this face wash and maybe use something a little bit gentler. Um, but overall, I think it's a great purchase. Since the Truth Juice Cleanser was the only cleanser that I tried, we're going to move on to scrubs. And the first one we're going to talk about is the Lemonade Soothing Scrub. This is just a mini size. A full size, which is three ounces, retails for $32. I'm going to squirt some of this out so that you can see the texture. Um, definitely smells like lemonade. That is what it looks like. The particles are very fine, so you're not going to have to worry about it um, like tearing out your skin or anything like that. I will say it does kind of leave a little bit of a sticky residue after you use it, so you're gonna need to wash your face again. It's not as bad as the strawberry one from Fresh, um, but it does still leave a, a slight residue on the skin. As far as who would like this product, I think it's great for all skin types because the granules are very fine. You're getting a very gentle exfoliation of the skin, um, which sometimes you need. Like if you have dry, dehydrated skin that just um, won't go away like as much as you try, um, you do need to kind of give it a little bit of an encouragement and this um, scrub is a great way to do that um, in a gentle way. The lemonade scrub isn't the only one that they offer. They have the Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub. This is a mini size. The full size retails for $30. So it's a little bit cheaper than the lemonade scrub. So this is really interesting because it actually warms on contact. So I squirted some out and I spread it out and it's kind of getting warm hence the sauna part of the name. The granules, as you probably saw, are a little bit larger than the ones in the lemonade, but they're not, um, they're not that large. So again, you're not going to have to worry about it um, causing any kind of damage to your skin. Um, if I had to pick one of the scrubs, I would actually pick this one over the lemonade just because I don't like the sticky residue that the lemonade leaves, whereas you don't have that issue with the Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub. So now we're going to move on to toners. If you've been following me for any amount of time, like on my blog or Instagram, you probably already know what this product is, and it is the Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. I love, love, love this product. Um, it is a high potency AHA toner. Um, which means a little bit goes a long way. And in fact, you may have to like build up to being able to use this. And when I first started it, I used it like once a week or then twice a week. Um, I got to where I was using it um, three times a week. Um, I have gone a little bit down from that since I'm using a retinol product in my skincare routine currently. Um, but this is something I will always have on hand. Um, if you're nervous about investing the $32 for the full size product, um, you should consider trying a small bottle um, and seeing how your skin handles it. Um, it does say it's for dark spots, but I do want to assure you that it is also great um, for helping with texture um, as well. 
The other toner that I have tried from Ulla Henriksen is the Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. Um, even though I have like combination skin, I did give this um, toner a try um, during the summer months. Um, it's definitely meant for more oily skin. Um, it has um, a blend of AHAs and BHAs as well as witch hazel um, to help control oil. Um, which it does for sure. So if you're on the dry side or extra dry side, um, or even the normal slash dry side, um, you're going to want to steer clear of this product. It's definitely really great for those with really oily skin because as the name suggests, it is great at um, controlling um, your oil and kind of giving a matte finish to the skin. And the full size of that is $32. We've made it to the next category, which is eye creams. And this is another one of my favorite products. It is the Banana Bright Eye Cream. I have this in a cute little tiny size. The full size retails for $40, but honestly, like you need so little of it. I would suggest maybe trying to see if you can get a set that has the small in it. Um, this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, it has a slight fragrance to it as well. What's really nice about this eye cream is it is formulated specifically to work well under concealer. Um, but honestly, I wear it on days where I know I'm not going to be wearing makeup because it has a nice reflective quality to help make the under eyes look um, less tired. Um, so I highly recommend this product. Um, it's been like something I've had in my routine pretty much since it came out. Um, and I think everybody could benefit from using it. I will say that it is not exactly very hydrating. So if you're looking to like address um, dryness under the eyes or you're wanting to address like wrinkles, this wouldn't be the eye cream for that. Um, but if you want to look more awake, definitely pick this up. So on the topic of eye wrinkles, I have been aging. Uh, the past couple of years have really accelerated that. Um, so I was looking for some type of anti-aging product that I could put under my eyes. And when Ulla Henriksen came out with the Wrinkle Blur Bakucho Eye Gel Cream, which is this product, I ordered it as soon as it was released. And unfortunately, I don't like this product. Um, the full, this is the full size, which is half an ounce. It retails for $49. Um, I picked this product because I was looking for anti-aging properties, but I also didn't want to put a retinol under my eyes because my under eye area is already pretty sensitive. So I was like, okay, what's the next best thing? However, there's something in this that really irritates my eyes like a lot. Um, so I used this a total of like two or three times and it burned and stinged and made my under eyes red. Um, so I had to discontinue using it. So I would say if you could proceed with caution if you're going to try this product, but I would say probably just be on the safe side and skip it. So I have tried two serums from Ulla Henriksen. The first one we're going to talk about is the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. This is just a small little sample size. It came with another product that I'm going to talk about a little bit later. Uh, this serum has vitamin C, PHAs, and hyaluronic acid. Um, PHAs, if you're not aware, are like a gentler version of an AHA. Um, we're just going to keep it simple because that's the gist of it. Um, of the two serums that I tried, I wouldn't use this one again. Not that there was anything wrong with it. It's just that I prefer to keep my vitamin C and my exfoliating um, products separated. So vitamin C is typically used during the day since it works really great with sunscreen. Um, and then AHAs and BHAs tend to be used in the evening just because there's some photosensitivity issues with um, AHAs and BHAs. Um, if you want to use both the products together, um, obviously you can choose to do that, but that's just not my 
preference to put my vitamin C with my exfoliant. It does have hyaluronic acid, which is to help um, obviously nourish the skin and make sure you stay um, hydrated. Um, however, I just prefer the Truth Serum, which I actually don't have with me. Um, this is just their like OG original um, vitamin C product. I think it's really great for people who are interested in trying a vitamin C. It also has aloe in it um, to kind of help soothe the skin. The True Serum does leave a little bit of a sticky texture, which is pretty typical for um, that type of vitamin C serum. Um, but once you continue with the rest of your skincare products, it's fine. Um, so let's, speaking of the Truth Serum, since we just kind of skipped right into it, um, one ounce of the Truth Serum is $52. I'm going to talk about these serums in kind of conjunction. If you have hardy skin, um, if you want a simple one, one product, um, then maybe the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum would be for you. If you're new to vitamin Cs or if you're a little bit nervous, about um, mixing the PHA with the vitamin C that I would go with the Truth Serum. Since we just talked briefly about exfoliants, um, the next product we're gonna talk about is the Dewtopia 20% Acid Night Treatment. This is like a sample size. Um, this product has 10% AHAs, 10% PHAs, and it also has lemon enzymes. Uh, the full size is one ounce and it retails for $55. Um, so this is the type of product that I prefer to use at nighttime. So instead of using um, that other serum that mixes the vitamin C with the PHAs, I would prefer to use something like this, which is meant to be used as an exfoliant at nighttime to really help turn over the skin cells and um, leave you with beautiful glowing skin. Um, I would say this is probably, um, what I would recommend over the Drunk Elephant Glycolic Serum. Um, this is much cheaper and honestly much gentler. Um, I really enjoy this. Right now it's not in my skincare routine, um, because I'm taking a break from actives since I'm going to be getting a, a series of chemical peels. Um, but I really enjoy this. I think if you have any skin type would really like this product unless you have extremely sensitive like um, eczema or rosacea e skin you might not appreciate this um, but highly recommend it's a great value um, compared to other brands similar products um, yeah. on to moisturizers this is probably the one category um, that I haven't tried too many products um, from the brand and that is because I just like to keep my moisturizer very simple. Um, I am going to talk a little bit about the Sea Rush Vitamin C Gel Moisturizer, which is a moisturizer with vitamin C in it, um, which is great for people who want to combine products. Like if you know you like vitamin C, you don't want to deal with having to put two products on. Maybe you don't like how some vitamin Cs can feel sticky so you could reach for this. It is $48 for 1.7 ounces. I personally um, kind of steer away from these types of things um, just because some days I just want a plain moisturizer with nothing in it. And actually that's my preference most days. Um, but if my skin is getting angry at me, I'm not gonna put a moisturizer with vitamin C in it on my skin because that's just gonna make it even more angry. So then I would have to have another moisturizer anyway so i rather just have a plain moisturizer and a vitamin c product instead of them mixed together that's just my personal preference obviously if you know your skin maybe having them together is great for you so you can reduce a step and product in your skincare routine now we're on to face masks which is just a really fun category um, Ula Hendrickson makes really fun masks. The first one we're going to talk about is the Cold Plunge Pore Mask. This is just a like a deluxe sample size. The full size um, is three ounces and retails for $41. dollars 
What's so fun about this mask is that it feels cold when you put it on, hence the cold plunge, but it also changes colors. Um, this was really popular on Instagram probably like a year ago. I Well, what is time anymore? I think it was a year ago. Anyway, it's really fun. It is formulated with uh, clay and then it also has like AHAs and BHAs and I think um, green fusion complex. Uh, which is the eucalyptus and green tea, which kind of gives it that cold feeling when you apply it. Um, it leaves your skin feeling really nice and clean, but it doesn't leave it feeling overly dry, which is nice because um, sometimes a clay mask can leave your skin feeling stripped and gross. But this one is fun. It's good. Highly recommend. So the last product we're going to talk about is the Fat Glow Facial. This product deserves so much more hype than it gets. Um, I really love this mask. It uses PHAs and like pink clay to like really get in and de-gunk your pores while also um, encouraging um, skin turnover so that you have fresh, gorgeous, glowing skin after using it. Um, what I like about this is it's not overly drying. Um, it's not a dupe for the Junk Elephant product, but it is a great alternative, especially if the Junk Elephant is too harsh for your skin. I know if I use a Junk Elephant baby facial, my skin feels like super parched and like, ah, what did you do to me after using it? Um, that is not the case with this product. Um, I think everybody should have it. It's great for all skin types. Um, I would say you could probably use this every week if you wanted to. I probably only um, do it every other week just because I have so many masks that I kind of rotate through. Um, and this one bottle will last you forever. Um, let's see. It retails for $52 and it is 1.7 ounces, um, which is way cheaper than um, other brands for similar products. So there you go hopefully that um provides some useful information for you if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments um, about these products um go ahead and leave them in the comment section of course i'm going to have all of these um products linked and i'm also going to have a link to my blog post where i go into a little bit more detail about each of these products and until next time bye